LA, hello. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, right? A damn beautiful day in the neighborhood. First off, we want to say good morning to everyone. Thank you guys for being out here and for all those that are watching as well. Thank you. Appreciate you. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce's Walk of Fame ceremony. Now, before we start, I would like to give a shout out to our fans that's watching around the world on our live stream, presented by the Chamber's media partner, Variety. Hello. I see you, I hear you. The Hollywood Walk of Fame recognizes achievements in the categories of motion picture, radio, live theater, sports entertainment, recording, and television. And today, in the category of recording, we are proud to honor Dr. Dre. with star number 2,775 on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Now, before we invite the good doctor to the stage, let me tell you a little bit uh, about our honoree. Nine-time Grammy Award-winning artist, producer, founder and CEO of Aftermath Entertainment and Beats Electronics, entrepreneur, and philanthropist, Dr. Dre began his career as a member of the World Class Wrecking Crew. Shortly after, he co-founded the revolutionary group NWA. Hello. NWA became the fifth hip hop group to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and the group was honored this year with a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. The Compton, California native embarked on his solo career in 1992 when he released his solo debut album, The Chronic, which has been certified triple platinum by the RIAA, reached the top 10 on the Billboard 200, and won a Grammy for Best Rap Solo Performance with Let Me Ride. Hell yeah. Dr. Dre launched Aftermath Entertainment in 1996, where over the years, he discovered hip-hop superstars such as Eminem, 50 Cent, Kendrick Lamar, and Anderson Pack. And y'all know there's others that he discovered, and we're gonna speak on those as well. Jimmy Iovine and Dre established Beats Electronics in 2006 and later launched Beats Music and Apple acquired both in 2014. In 2017, HBO released a four-part documentary, The Defiant Ones, chronicling the life of and the relationship of Iovine, Jimmy Iovine, and Dr. Dre throughout the years and how they shaped some of the more exciting moments in pop culture. Among many other accolades, Dr. Dre won a Grammy and an Emmy for the Defiant Ones. In 2013, the USC Jimmy Iovine and Andre Young Academy for Arts, Technology, and the Business of Innovation was funded and established. In 2022, they expanded their efforts to the Los Angeles Unified School District, opening the Iovine and Young Center Integrated Design Technology a new high school that will offer students grounding, that's getting their grind on in that same cutting edge curriculum. Dr. Dre donated $10 million to Compton High School for the school's new performing arts center, which broke ground in 2022. The facility is named Andre, Dr. Dre Young Performing Arts. In 2022, Dr. Dre collaborated with Snoop Dogg, Mary J. Blige, 50 Cent, Eminem, and Kendrick Lamar. And we all bear witness to that Pepsi Super Bowl 56 halftime show at SoFi. That Super Bowl performance took home three Emmys, including a win for Outstanding Variety Special, the only time a Super Bowl halftime show has won an Emmy in that category. Last year, the Recording Academy and Black Music Collective created the inaugural 
Dr. Dre Global Impact Award to celebrate his trailblazing achievements in music. This past February, Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg launched, launched Gin and Juice by Dr. Dre and Snoop, the first ready-to-drink product from their new premium spirits company. These partners, they've been, man, they've had their stars aligned for many, many years. And speaking of being stars that align, they got their stars right next to each other. The collaborations continue. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time to bring up our honoree. Coming to the stage, please help me welcome Dr. Trey.